All right, y'all. Good morning and happy Tuesday. This is Taylor. Today is April 25th, and we are going to take a look at a couple of squeezes here ahead of the open. Now, obviously, it's a, a busy week here for Mama Market. Mama Sita herself. Um, last week, we had Netflix and Tesla earnings. And then for this week, we got earnings in Meta, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. And then the following week, we'll hear from Apple. And I do believe, based on my sources, we've got a Fed meeting early in May as well. So a jam-packed schedule here for the market. But as far as a few squeezes go, we'll take a look at the S&Ps and the QQQ on the futures. And then we'll take a look at the cash products. But for the, uh, the NQ here, QQQ futures, we have a daily squeeze. And now as of this morning, that daily squeeze has entered the high compression form with your orange dot. So high compression squeeze, and then down here on the big three histogram, we got that break of momentum. So now momentum is shifting in the favor of the bears. And that's part of the reason that a few days ago, the big three indicator flipped from bullish to neutral. So it's a momentum thing. And the, uh, the high compression squeeze is a highly debated topic. What a lot of us tend to find is that more often than not, a high compression squeeze wants to fire short. Whether you got buy signals, whether you're in an uptrend, a lot of times that high comp squeeze likes to fire to the downside. But if anything here, guys, the market looks a little bit tired. Down here on that histogram, that fresh cross of momentum is a fresh tank of gas for the bulls. And with that fresh tank of gas, they are working it, they are pumping it, they are doing the damn thing. And then with the break in momentum, things just kind of go a little, a little bit dead in the water. So high compression daily squeeze, negative momentum, and we've gone from bullish to neutral. Not incredibly bearish, um, you know, not an all out, hey, let's wake up and get short today kind of thing. But again, maybe a little bit of evidence here, the market is a wee bit tired. But there's your daily chart. And now if you take it down a notch, we got that four hour squeeze. And as a general statement, guys, we've been in the four hour squeeze since early April. Now, technically it's fired a few times, but when I think of a squeeze firing, I think of a move out of that range. The squeeze is really gonna fire to the downside. We should take out support and we shouldn't look back. And then vice versa, of course, to the upside. But as far as the structure and the, uh, the pretty colors here, this definitely leans a little bit bearish. We have a four hour sell signal on the big three indicator. We are under the 21 EMA and momentum has been under the zero line since the 18th. So that combination, a neutral high compression daily squeeze with a break in momentum, and then under the surface, nested inside of that squeeze, a four hour of the sell signal, usually a great combination for a bit of a push lower. So there's the NQ, and now on the S&Ps here, check this out. So as of this morning, we got a brand new daily squeeze. But also as of this morning, big three indicator goes from bullish to neutral. A little bit of green to a little bit of gray. Now momentum here, we're still above that zero line, but we are a little bit on that decline. So brand new daily squeeze that goes neutral. And then under the surface here on the four hour, high compression four hour squeeze. So more often than not, this will fire short. You're under your 21, you got a sell signal. You've had negative momentum since the 18th of April, usually a combination for a flush lower. So both the S&Ps and the Qs on the futures have got that combo of a daily squeeze and a four hour squeeze, printing that four hour sell signal. So now if we jump over to the cashola, SPX and QQQ, um, SPX still looks pretty good here on the daily chart. No warning signs, no red flags, but, 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 crank it down a notch to the four hour, and there's another four hour squeeze. And you'll notice down here on the histogram, you're getting a fresh negative break in momentum. So it's the ebbs and the flows. Back here, you got a four hour squeeze with momentum above zero, and they're able to take that squeeze and fire it to the upside. Well, now here we are again, another four hour squeeze, but this time around, at least for now, momentum not supportive of that push higher. 
So four hour squeeze on the SPX and then on the QQQ, I'll start on the daily chart. And the QQQ has a daily squeeze here with that fresh break in momentum. So we're seeing a lot of that throughout the market. You had a big push. Everything's kind of taken a chill pill and traded sideways. And now because of that breakdown here in momentum, our big three indicator goes from printing that buy signal to neutral. Right, from bullish to just a, a little bit lame, a wee bit tired. So daily squeeze, negative break in momentum, and then again, a big whopping four hour. So momentum broke a couple weeks ago, and now you'll notice these magenta dots here. That's kind of like my heads up. It's, it's not a sell signal on its own, but it's kind of an early heads up here that the momentum, the structure... Everything kind of leaning in the favor of the bears. And that, my friends, I think is the uh, the bulk of the focus here as far as squeezes go. You know, the old saying is, as goes the market, goes the stocks. And this kind of feels like a market that is in hurry up and wait mode. We might be waiting for Microsoft earnings, Google, Meta, Amazon. Maybe we're going to wait all the way until Apple earnings next Friday. Or maybe we're going to keep on shopping here all the way up into the uh, the Fed meeting in early May. But point being, daily squeezes with four-hour squeezes, pretty good combo to keep an eye on. So when and if these four-hour squeezes finally fire long or short, um, and they will eventually, right? So when they eventually fire long or short, that's where I think you get the next decent directional move for the market. And until they fire long or short, I think it could be uh, a little bit more of the same here. They'll pop it, but they'll fail to break it out. They'll dump it, but they'll fail to break support. Just a lot of nasty back and forth here until the squeeze is fire. And maybe the uh, the earnings catalysts are what will actually get these squeezes to finally launch off either which way. But that is it for this morning, guys. Watch your S&Ps. Watch your QQQ. Keep an extra close eye on the four-hour charts. And use those as your uh, your compass here for the next few days. They fire short. You probably want to look to sell a couple of call credit spreads, maybe buy some puts. And if they fire long, selling some puts, maybe buying some calls might be the play. But all right, y'all have a great day and we'll talk soon.